The Joy of Sake will feature hundreds of world-class sakes with sake-inspired dishes from 21 of Honolulu's best restaurants. Mari Taketa is here with the taste of the event with special guest Chef John Matsubara. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for having Food us. Food and alcohol. Psh, what a great way to start the morning. I love it. Um, this is a, a great event. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, um, how, what people should know of the Joy of Sake? Oh, first of all, this is the biggest sake celebration in the world mm -hmm. outside Japan because Honolulu loves sake so much. So it's grown over the years. This year we have a record 512 labels of which we open two each for Honolulu Fresh bottles mm -hmm. so people can taste an unparalleled selection of the most elegant daiginjos, the hearty Ginjos and the robust Jumai sake is being brewed in Japan today. We also bring in 21 of Honolulu's best restaurants mm -hmm. and ask them to create dishes that will match with sake. So the interplay of flavors between sipping and uh, grazing and sipping, it's just so elegant. So when somebody comes down to the joy of sake, what, what exactly can they expect? What, what will they be uh, looking at? Okay, so there will be 512 bottles of sake displayed like this. 512? Yeah. <laughs> each with a card. Now, they're going to be divided into tables depending on Jumai sakes, ginjos, okay. and dai ginjos. The card will tell you what the sake is. It will tell you if it won a gold star, okay. which it did. And if you see a tiny black asterisk, it means that that sake, like this one, mm -hmm. is not available in the U.S. 60% okay. not available in the U.S. Half of them, the very expensive Daiginjo sakes, will also have Miss Sake mm -hmm. in her full kimono and her Miss Sake obi and sash doing uh, selfies with, uh, with guests. And brewers from Japan will be pouring their own labels. Wow. Okay, so not so not all sakes are from Japan. You know, almost all of them are. But the funny thing is that while Japanese, like, you know, you are drinking more whiskey okay. and wine and beer, other countries are drinking more and more sake. So we have entries this year from the U.S. and for the first time from Mexico. I can't wait for you to give all of our viewers the health benefits of drinking lots of sake. <laughs> it's very good for you. Um, the, the focus is on sake, but food is also a big part of the event, and that's uh, why we got Chef here. So tell me, Chef, a, a little bit about what's going on with the sake pairing that you're going to be doing. Absolutely. First, I'd like to give a shout out to Mari's sake cup necklace, yes. which is you get to sip a little bit when you go touring the 500 different sakes. Seriously, right? Yeah, seriously. I bought this at the Joy of Sake. That They're is awesome. selling cups. <laughs> yeah. So today we got uh, we have a, a shrimp with a brown butter dashi dish, and it's going to go with a light daiginjo. Okay. Um, so we have it. We're pairing it off with a little bit of green apple, which I think it brings uh, a little lightness to the dish because you have butter and it's going to coat your tongue when you have uh, when you eat it. So you really want a nice pop. Okay. And so. We're just going to add a little bit of uh, fruit just to keep it light. I'm going to walk over here yeah. and just kind of tilt this up so that the camera can see what's inside there without And then we make, uh, you know, it's just Japanese pairing, so we're going to use Japanese umami dishes. So we get okay. some brown butter, which makes it a little bit of nutty. We add a little bit of dashi in there, and then we put uh, a little bit of citrus. So with this, you're going to get a lot of different flavors that um, will pop in your mouth. I would love to know while you're doing that, could you tell me, like, mm. if you've got some tips for sampling sake? Um, I would love to know, like, s some of your food tips and maybe even some of your sake tips real quick. Okay, so do not try to sample 512 sake. <laughs> no. Number one. And if you do, make sure you have a designated driver. Uh, don't even try to come close. <laughs> what you should be doing is looking for sakes that you love. Okay. So pick up a plate like uh, John's kawaii shrimp with mm -hmm. dashi and uh, brown butter sauce that's going to be a little bit tangy. And then start walking around the sake tables and, you know, have a bite and then sip. Have a, when you find a pairing you love, stay there and have more sake. Okay. That's a good Very sake good. for you. Um, we've got some event details for you on the screen. It is the 19th annual Joy of Sake Hawaii Convention Center, Friday, August 9th. And, of course, over 500 sakes will be paired uh, with sake-inspired dishes. The joy, it's joyofsake.com. That's right. Look at that. Okay, how did you top that off? What did you, what did you sprinkle around? Uh, we put a little bit of chili flakes to give it some heat, just to, to balance it off with okay. the apple. And then uh, I have some uh, curry leaves that have come at our, at our location, um, at a feast restaurant. And so that adds a little bit of pop, too. And just going to put a little bit of sauce on there. Okay, yeah. while you do that, would you mind something that pairs with that dish? Could you just give it to me real quick? Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
Might as, uh, we might as well, right? <laughs> we might as well. Okay, John said a light daiginjo. Okay. This is uh, Mizubasho, Jinmai daiginjo. Okay. Uh, John, would you like to uh, Absolutely. have a sip? I'll try some. Okay, and uh, I tried it, but <laughs> while we're doing that, I want to say thank you so much for you guys coming on joyofsake.com to find out more information. Friday, of course, August 9th. There you go, Friday, August 9th. Cheers. Cheers. Come thank by. you so much. Come by.